<laughs> Alright, what's good everyone? This is Dan Plays TCGs. We're back with another Eternal video with the Elysium Midrange deck. And you know, I just kind of figured I'd made it... I had fun doing it. I figured I'd make a part two because... Because, uh, you know, I only played a couple games with it last time. But this time, though, uh, I got my boy, uh, the Master, with me. What's up, man? What's up, man? Not much. Uh, but yeah, basically... Turns out that that uh, kind of spicy DM that I thought was gonna happen when he was messaging me last game was him just telling me I was bad. So, which which is fair. Uh, he actually he, he grinds ETS quite frequently and he actually knows what he's doing with this game. So we're gonna see if he can help me be less bad in this video. So uh, I'm just going ahead and uh, I'm queuing up here for yep. some for some ranked. This is actually our second take of this because the first time I got into the game I got my opener and then I just lagged out. Felt pretty bad. No? Man, that hand was perfect too, and you doubted me. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> that good, was old, good, old, good old three lands and a bunch of six drops. Uh, four, five, and six drop, and then you drew a temple scribe. It was perfect. Well, I didn't actually draw it because I lagged out. Oh well, I saw you draw it. All right. Oh, well, here we go. Get in the opener. Yep. Um. Oh, okay, so this one's weird. So I like it because it has the initiate that I can play on one, but it's not doing too much else after that. Um, I usually don't like to keep hands that have scouting party. That's fair. Um, do, you, do you just not you, like scouting party, or? <laughs> um, I don't like scouting party in this style of deck. Like, uh, okay. I like it as finishers and like shimmer pack versions, but not this okay. one. Okay, so that one at least is an easy redraw. <laughs> Okay, this See, is this, hand. Hand, this hand's this amazing. This hand's where it's at, yeah. Yep. Get to go mm -hmm. 2, 3, whatever. Yeah. Let's see what our opponent does. If his, uh, if his art there is going to be any kind of indicator, he's playing Praxis or something like that. Or not Praxis, uh, Rakano. Oh, well, there's Red. And there's a Pyro Knight. Uh, yes, aggro so, decks. So yeah, so we're gonna we're, we're gonna trade off with the temple. We're gonna trade off with that with the temple scribe. So that feels super good. And I get to play a Dawnwalker next turn. Okay, this is going. No, you don't play the Dawnwalker next turn. You just play the False Prince. Really? Because I, I figured I'd save the the False Prince for like whenever I could rebuy the Dawnwalker. Nice oh, burn. See, queen. like honestly, I wouldn't play either next turn. I would play Amber Aculite. That's fair. Oh, I guess it depends on. Okay, yeah, I yeah. definitely want to play Aper because I want to hit my next. Yeah, you want to you want to activate it too. Um, and then I guess I'm a Dawn Walker since you have Cersei. So. Yeah, uh, I'm gonna get a time just because I think I don't have I don't think I have any triple blue in here. I think yeah, I think it's just, just triple. There's predatory carnosaur on yep. the on the triple white. The uh, so the most gets, evil uh, what's up? thing in the game, predatory carnosaur. Oh, yeah. Killer's most broken mechanic. It's pretty good. I was actually, I actually, I was trying to just explain Killer a little bit uh, in the deck tech. And I was actually having a hard time explaining it. I don't know why. Oh, hey, look, he's rapid shotting my thing. That's cool. That's kind of annoying for us. Um, yeah, probably Don Walker. Yeah, Don Walker's fine here. We're fine with trading Don Walker and then playing either False Prince or Cerso. Yeah. Honestly, if we draw a land, I may just want to play False Prince and leave up the backlash. Yeah, um, I can see that. I don't know. I kind of like Temple Scribing, but we, we, he, he's always good later. There's a Bandit Queen. Um, so I don't exactly have a good block here. I, I, just, guess I, I guess I can block I just, the, just block the Bandit Queen, honestly. Like, yeah. Um, Save some damage, buy back later. Yep. Okay. Have you played against a lot of Burn Queen uh, playing ETS like today or just... Um, I played against uh, Unearthy, who's uh, one of like the best aggro players in the game, honestly. Um, and he like Burn Queen was like a super bad matchup for me already, and so is like Elysian Praxis because I was playing a uh, time or no, I was playing Justice Shadow Primal Control. Yeah. So I, j I just jammed that there to buy back the Dawn Walker. Yeah, no, that's like completely fine. Um, I was thinking about Temple Scribing to try to draw a land, but then. Holding up black, but backlash doesn't feel like the best thing in this matchup. Um, sometimes it is because like obliterate's a very, very powerful card. Um, yeah. But oh, I think he's just yeah. Okay, he just played dudes. That, that was pretty good. So um, I could temple scribe plus Don Walker maybe. 
Here, honestly, I just want to go. I just want to attack first. Oh, for real? I, I... Yeah. No, no, play your land and then attack. Okay. okay. Because with uh, both. What if he just like queens me next turn? Well, we're playing two blockers next turn. Okay. Or in this turn. It's always better to attack first in this game um, before doing anything, is what I've learned. Yeah. Okay, you just took it. Yep. So, let's draw some cards and then play this thing. Hey, that's pretty good. Yep. Um, yeah. Well, See, I, told, I told everyone in the deck tech that's like one of the best creatures. Uh, yeah. It's pretty, it's pretty up there. It's, it's, it's kind of changed since set two released, but he's still like one of the better features. He does a lot for decks that like can't usually beat it. So he just ulted one of the Pyro Knights. Yeah, if he, he A spaces here. I think I'm definitely trading the Temple Scribe for that Ronin and then just taking the six, I think. Yeah. Could also double block. Um, I was thinking of double blocking, but that was only if he attacked with everything. Um, uh, the double block still isn't terrible. It's not. We take... We take way less and deal with. Oh no! Never mind. No, we take, we take five, six total this turn. Uh, the double block's fine. It gets rid of a bigger threat that we yeah. can't deal with. Um, it's a little weird doing commentary on like when you're playing because like yeah. usually I just like oh man do all of, um oh man just play the yeah play the surf so. oh, no the, the surf so. oh yeah I guess the surf so is more efficient yeah yes. And probably just pass, right? Cause, yes. Yeah, because I'm at 11. That's pretty low. And you just don't want to like lose to like Queen plus Rally this turn? Yeah. Oh, Which... God. Queen Queen plus Rally sounds really scary. Yeah, it's it's happened to me quite frequently. All right. Well, luckily he didn't have the Rally or one of the pieces. Uh, Probably just Titan? Um... Oh, oh, what? Okay. I guess I guess we win. Like, okay. <laughs> honestly, like we would have just put the Xena and Obelisk there and like punched through for lethal anyway. Wait, what was he at? He was a eight, right? I don't know. Or eighteen something. Like, but like still. Hmm. All right. Well, let's queue up for another one. I should have. I, I forgot again. To, I was gonna look at the time before we started, but I don't know. I think we're just gonna call it like around probably th three games for the video. Yeah, this, um... Ooh, nope. Like, I, nope. I, <laughs> nope. I personally despise this deck with, um. like, every, everything in in my power. L literally just was like, hey, let's, what's doing good in tournaments? Hey, I like this hand. This hand seems good. Yeah, this hand's really good. Um, Slow, though, but... We, oh, never well, mind. Never right, mind. So just but... play the banner. Like, honestly, yeah. I like leaving Amber Monument more than anything. Oh, it's another Burn no. Queen. Yeah, Burn Queen. Deck that... I usually get flamed whenever I say that this deck doesn't require skill, but, like, Burn Queen doesn't require skill, so... I guess fair. Like, one of my close friends, um, he plays Burn Queen all the time, and we always back and forth on this argument. Yeah. Ooh, Crystallize will be good later. Um, so I think I just Amber Acolyte, and then I want to give it Killer next turn to take this thing out. Mm. Also There's perma also permafrost it. You plus... can permafrost it plus temple scribe. Yeah, the problem is its ability is always still going to be there. I kind of just want to get him off the board a little bit. I don't think there's anything else. Do, do, they, do they play like impending doom still? Because I remember they did back in the day. Some people do. It, it really depends. My list uh, plays impending doom and soul fire great, and I think so does unearthies. Hmm. Could also Cordova. could also just play false prince. So you're talking about the drawback with um, whenever a creature dies. Like I, that drawback's actually not that big of a deal anymore. Oh, really? Yeah, because um, okay. so do it affects thing. their deck a lot too. So I think we just like permafrost temple scrub this turn. Yeah. Um, yep. Mm -hmm. And then you punch for one. 
What if he plays like a hasty thing? Then I feel sad that I punched one. I think, oh, he, he has an instant or something. Oh, yeah, he has a, I would assume, a torch or a rapid shot. There's really like nothing that you care about with haste in his deck. This, like, I think the only thing with haste in his deck. Oh, it's that thing. Is. Probably made. Alright, so I think or, here I'm gonna. Drake. I'm gonna take this and then give one of these Temple Scribes killer next turn. Yeah. Hey. It's interesting mm. how people have moved over this instead of playing the old, uh, the, the one drop one. Uh, what are you talking about? Rally? No, the pretty, the thing that gives Seth killer. Um, this gives plus one, plus one. Yeah, that, that, and that's probably just better for the extra mana, I guess. Yes. Yep. As soon as he's tapped out, like, there's really not much he does. Yeah. Um, honestly, I think we just play the 5-mana five 5-5 five, five next turn. Yeah. That doesn't seem like a bad bad idea. No. Mana crystallizes. Always annoying. Yeah, yeah, we just like play the 5-mana five 5-5. Five, five. I think he had a slow enough hand that... Uh... The, oh well, never mind. <laughs> but I think I think he had, he had a slow enough hand that we're getting to actually do stuff. See, I would honestly like, see. Hey. Yep, 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 yep. Yep. Uh, so I think I like Amber Acolyte just so I can keep hitting my land drops. Amber Acolyte, get a white land, and then just fall yeah. Yep. Going into race mode that we're probably gonna lose. We have crystallized. We have double crystallized. That's fair. So that we can maybe win? Unless he's like got like seven obliterates. Oh um, jeez. He's I, I don't I don't know if we win in that race for who Why do people play oh. that card now? I got what? What is that? <laughs> what is this? <laughs> Cost one less for each What? <laughs> well, crystallized seeming really good right now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, just gonna hope we don't die. I mean, obliterate is lethal. Yeah. No, man. Somebody play, playing the the Falchion thing. Somebody playing that in a green black deck earlier. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Yeah, he had it. Jeez. Um. Are you talking about the Argonport midrange deck? Yeah. 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 They they put it on Bartholo, and I'm like, oh, that yeah. was super good. I I considered playing it today in the ETS, but. I just don't like strategies like that. That's fair. No, Bartho um, Bartholo seems pretty dumb, though, but... He is, like... Me playing, like, Armory traditionally, and then the nerf hit, and then moving to, like, playing Combri and Stone Control and stuff, like... I didn't realize how powerful, like, Burn Queen and Rakano play still would be. Yeah. Alright. Going into the last game, I'm gonna. Oh man, he has a he has a shiny uh, he has a shiny avatar. Uh, I think I like this hand. Ah uh, yes, the best card in the game, Nicaria. Mm. Nicaria is pretty good. Oh man, that's fancy. Look at that. Yeah. He, probably got, he probably got like the founder pack or whatever. I guess today is just what? only is this, Burn is it, Queen day. Have I played against Triple Burn Queen? Oh. Uh, okay. Yeah. Well, at least I got a bunch of cheap stuff. I assume it's you're playing against a bunch of Burn Queen because right now in the finals, the ETS that's going on is Burn Queen. Yeah, no, he he's like a low to the ground one though. Rally Queen is pretty annoying. I'll be your Huckleberry. I think I have that one too. Yeah, I do. Yeah. Unfortunately, I can't boys. see you. I can't see boys. your emotes. It's been a pleasure. Oh, uh, he says that because I'm going to die. Uh, you're going to block it when you're running. Whatever. I'm probably just going to rally. I'm getting ra rallied. Oh, I didn't get rallied. Okay. No, like, there's no point to rally this turn. Getting rallied. Next, next turn. turn. Next turn, there's a point to rally. Well, this isn't looking good for the home team. Um, I would play one of your friendly wisps. Sure. It ain't living, but just in case it does, I can draw some cards. Yeah, I, I, I got it. I got it. Yeah. 
Well, I'm not getting rallied yet. He does not have rally. Jeez. Crystallize, please. Uh, see, I don't know if you're even gonna make it to Crystallize, are you? Maybe. Um, um, okay, so I can... Hmm, I can permafrost the 3-2 and play another friendly wisp. Or, or I could just play uh, False Prince. You just permafrost the 3-2 and then play your initiative thing? Yeah, I like that. So then I can play the uh, Titan next turn. Not that the Titan's probably going to do me that much good, but... What is At least... Let's see, he has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 power on board. Oh, wow. <laughs> the blowouts. The top first deck. Look. Did he just say, he just said first luck, now skill or something like that? Yeah, that's that's the emote I use the most in the game. <laughs> no, I use I'll Be Your Huckleberry. Uh, I, I think we're dead. I just, I'm making a whatever block. No, uh, yeah, you're definitely dead, dude. Like... Yeah. Well, okay, I, I know I said three games, but we're going to do one more because I was stupid. <laughs> The, the young O3. <laughs> no, no, I, we won. We won the first. We won the first game we played. Didn't we? Yeah. The young one two. It's gonna be Burn Queen again, again though. I just need. I just need to build Burn Queen again. I'm glad you're playing against some Burn Queen players instead of me. And you know that that's the Dan plays UCG motto. I play against Burn Queen, so you don't have to. I think that's copyrighted, though. I don't know. I play against Bird Queen, so you don't have to. Yeah. I was, I was, that was a play on uh, uh, the Nostalgia Critic. It's super old. I don't know. I think I actually still make stuff. Oh, it's another fancy man. What's with all these fancy men? Uh, that's, that's, that's my homie card, dude. Yeah, I think we get rid of this just because it doesn't do anything. Yeah. That's the sad thing about this deck. It has really bad hands. Yeah. Well, it has really good hands like this. Yeah, it's hands tight. Oh, this might be a mirror. He's going hard. I'm going to play another time sigil just so he doesn't know I'm on blue yet. Yeah. He may think I'm just like the, the mono white mid range or something. There was a guy earlier today in ETS who had a uh, turn three Cersei. That's pretty good. Okay, yeah, yeah this, this is a mirror. Yeah. Um, so, probably just, just play, uh, Dom Walker. Play your Dom Walker. Yep. Yeah. I can give him killer, and then that's where the that's where the real value begins. Or in other words, this is where the fun begins. R.I.P. I can't I can't do killer while it's stunned, huh? Nope, they yeah, cannot did. attack. Did not think so. Okay. Mm -hmm. I think we just... I could... Just friendly list, and then give your friendly list killer, and then kill his friendly list. That didn't sound bad, and then I could play False Prince next turn. But, yep. Whereas I've been calling him the False Prince of Bel-Air. In West... Uh, I, I actually don't know anything about the lore of this game, and that makes me a little sad. I'm going to be real. I just play the card game. No, lore, lore's cool sometimes. I mean, sometimes. I was going like... to say, in West, a location born and raised, but then I just don't know anything about this guy. Um, yeah, let's just draw, let's draw two cards. That sounds good. Yep. Land. Nope. Um, Permafrost is... Just... Yeah, Permafrost is Don Walker. Yep. And then get in for two. Surprised to be sure, but a welcome one. Listen, it, also, if you don't think all my videos are just going to be a bunch of prequel memes, then, then you're wrong. That's that's depressing. <laughs> wait, so wait, why didn't my false prince turn into a frog? It was targeted by something. Three false prints. When a spell is played directly on false prints, yeah, that's what isn't that what permafrost that's, is? Permafrost is not a spell. Oh, is it not? It's a curse, I guess? Yes. Okay, I guess that's fair. Well, I got a backlash up. That's pretty cool. Yep. Next turn, I can play Cerso or, or Carnosaur.
Man, why is like the Indy 500 going on outside your house? Oh, that's my computer, I'm sorry. Oh. <laughs> what? Why loud. is your computer sound like a race car? <laughs> it's, just, it's literally just like, it's like, it's like doing the race car thing. Well, it's not my fault my computer is speed racing. <laughs> oh, that was some pretty good value for him there. Oh, hey, look, I got a Carnosaur, but no need to play that now. I'm just going to get him a Cerso. And I yep. guess this dude. Yep. Uh, I could. Just, I might as well just go ahead and play the Carnosaur. No, this is all the Well, I, I get a... Oh, I don't get a Dawnwalker, never mind. Um, yeah, it's like... It's a little backlash. I guess. He, I guess he, he's right, just a yeah, now, now that you mentioned it, like, I just can't stop hearing it. <laughs> it sounds like a police car. Or not a police car, just like a race car. This reminds me of this terrible, terrible speed racing movie. Like, what are you talking about? That movie's awesome. Back? The live action speed racing movie? Yeah, that movie's great. Whatever, dude. <laughs> um, all of Speed Racer is the best because of just of the reactions. Oh my gosh. Oh, hey, look, we got there. Cool. Yeah, it's kind of. Kind of how this deck does. But, like, we'll take over a game and then stay taking over. Yeah, seems good. Well, that, that, was, that was a pretty nice, just little. You know, I, I like how, like, in the games we lost, we were. <laughs> we were we were talking about, like, like the game actually, but then. But then in that game that I won, we were just talking about Speed Racer or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, uh, I guess that's four games, so that'll do this for the video. Thank you for joining me. Lev's we'll good times. Yeah, man, anytime. Ple pleasure as always. I don't know if I'm doing a part three or not. Maybe later, but yep, that'll do it for now. Uh, remember to leave a like, comment, subscribe, all that jazz. Help my channel grow. Uh, follow me on Twitter at PlaysDanceTCGs. I messed that up last time, too. And remember to always treat your fellow life forms with kindness and respect. That's the important part. And I'll catch you guys later. See ya.